Waste has become a very serious problem in today's world, and it has worsened in the last three decades. In the oceans alone, there is garbage equivalent to the perimeter of Argentina. Each year, people produce hundreds of thousands of tons of waste that contaminate the soil, the water, and the air, producing a high level of degradation to the environment and causing serious health problems to the population. In 2016, over 2 billion tons of waste were generated in the entire world. That is an average of over 63.7 kilograms per second. It is estimated that by the year 2050, this number will rise to 108,000 kilograms per second. To solve this complex problem, we have developed a technology that we call natural method of reduction and transformation of waste products. It consists of a method that treats solid urban waste and several industrial residues as well. This innovative technology does not use any kind of chemical additives or fuel and reduces waste up to 75% of its original volume and up to 30% of its weight. The machine can process up to 100 tons of residues per day and it is prepared to operate at any sanitary landfill and under any condition. The process begins with the reception of solid urban waste, just as the garbage collection companies pick it up from the streets. The result is a consistent, malleable, inert, and odorless mash without any contaminants, which is environmentally friendly and chemically and bacteriologically suitable to be reused to other purposes, such subgrade material for building roads, construction bricks, tiles, and other useful subproducts. Not only have we contributed to ending waste pollution and significantly reducing the volume and weight of residue, but we have also made an important advance for turning the resulting processed waste into a completely reusable raw material. In these two minutes of video, the world has already generated 7,644,000 kilograms of waste. According to the World Health Organization, proper environmental management could prevent the death of more than 1.5 million children and 5 million adults. The solution exists. What are we waiting for?